Hello Scorpio, welcome to a love reading, a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection. How do you feel about each other and where is it all headed in the near future? As always, keep in mind these are general love readings, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Uh, leave the rest. You can check out your other placements. Your moon, your rising sign, Venus sign, any other sign of significance for you. For additional messages, sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box, so you can check them out. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. First, Scorpio regarding love and relationships. First, Scorpio and the person they are connecting with. We're thinking about at this time what does scorpio need to know about this connection this person need to know let's start with what's going on in your connection at this time the energies between you and this person in the connection spirit tell me about the connection that scorpio is in at this time what do we need to know about the energies and the connection between scorpio and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time oh my gosh what's going on with my deck okay i think this is the high priestess reverse wow and the five of wands the devil reverse scorpio energy let me just put these back and uh five of wands with the high priestess six of cups reverse when i just shuffled there Five of Wands. So Scorpio, the High Priestess is reverse, which is a card about kind of secrets revealed, something coming to light, something being seen. Now, astrologically, there's a lot going on for all signs, a lot of upheavals, a lot of shakeups, a lot of challenges that we're going to be facing, all of us. Nobody's escaping this um, astrological impact. Now, I'm not an astrologer. Don't take, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Um, but it's coming up in most of the readings that I'm doing this month, um, or this set of readings at least. Almost every single sign has a similar type of message. Either the tower comes out, or the moon is reversed, or the world shows up. And for you, the high priestess reverse. There's something coming out in this connection, and I feel like it's going to cause the devil to be reversed. So some sort of attachment could be released some sort of addiction something that's restricting you or another person because both of your energies are here a toxic environment a toxic situation all of that could be turned on its head here with the double reverse and i feel like it's going to cause some problems because the five of wands is here conflict drama fights so let's see if we can get some more insight. Spirit, can we get some more insight, some clarity on these energies for Scorpio? Oop. Let me get some insight. One more time. Okay, let's start here with the High Priestess Reverse, because that's the one that intrigues me the most. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Why is the High Priestess reverse? Two of Wands, why is the High Priestess reverse? The High Priestess reverse. Okay, so very similar to other readings that I've been doing. Whatever is happening, whatever shakeup is happening, which, like I already said, every sign is experiencing this. Whatever shakeup is happening for you, Scorpio, it's going to force you to choose a path that will change things for you. This Ace of Wands, I'm seeing this as change, a new start, a new beginning, uh, a new endeavor, a new adventure, etc., etc., etc. Okay, let's see if it's not you, it's your person. Take it as it resonates because both of your energies are here. So it could be one or the other. Um, tell me about the two of wands and the ace of wands. Tell me about this two of wands and the ace of wands 
Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely an ending here. A difficult ending. Four of Pentacles, when I see it with something like the Ten of Swords, I think of someone that can't let go of something. Can't let an ending go or can't... Um, it's not so easy for them to end something. The Eight of Swords is after, after the Ten of Swords, which tells me that's probably because there's a lot of... Um, Stuck energy here. Someone is stuck mentally. I also had a reading with, who was it? Was it Cancer? Where the person didn't want them to move on. So they were kind of holding on to, to Cancer in a way. That could be it too. Someone does not want something to end or change. And so they kind of hold on uh, they refuse to end something or refuse for something, refuse, um, I don't know how to explain this in a way that makes sense. Why can't I say this eloquently? <laughs> it's, it's almost like this is someone that wants to prevent this from happening. We'll see when we dive into more of your energies if that comes up again. Um, when I go into your energy separately. Tell me about the devil reverse. Why is the devil reverse? Why is the devil judgment? Oh my God, judgment keeps coming up too. The devil reverse and judgment. So there's some sort of awakening, a wake up call, a resurrection, a revival. Someone is having a, a, reali a realization about this situation. After the, after the judgment card comes the world, which then leads to the fool. So, you know, I'm getting that someone has realized something about this attachment and perhaps is ending this attachment. The strength card. Wow, Leo energy. Strength, courage. Interesting. Can I have one more for strength? I want to make sure this is right because I feel like this double reverse is very important. Tell me more about strength. Tell me more about strength. Yeah, okay. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This judgment is information. So there's some sort of clarity or information that someone is receiving. That's why they're able to break out of this devil energy. I feel like this is someone trying to control the situation in the best way they can because this is going to be big. Um, I'm getting almost like someone uses this information to their advantage. Um, or this clarity to their advantage. It's like it's like uh, someone that finally hears what they need to hear, sees what they need to see, discovers what they need to discover to finally pull the trigger. Yeah, Eight of Cups after the Four of Cups, exactly. One thing leads to another. This information leads to apathy. Someone's no longer interested, no longer open to an idea, uh, no longer finding satisfaction or contentment there's is the opposite of that with the four of cups and i think this is going to lead someone to walk away i don't know what's it's i mean every single reading <laughs> keeps coming out with similar energy tell me about the five of wands tell me about the five of wands What's this five of wands about? Oh my God, the tower, Jesus Christ. Scorpio. <laughs> I'm telling you, these readings have been a nightmare. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck, of course. Why not, right? Why not? 
I think this is going to be a huge, I mean, this is going to be, something's coming down completely. There's going to be, it's, it's going to be a, a, a hot mess. The towers here with the high priestess reversed with judgment. This was meant to happen. Three of cups, the hermit, Virgo energy, and the six of cups after that. I think I feel like this is going to affect multiple people with the three of cups. It's going to affect more than you and this person, Scorpio. Someone's going to have a lot of thinking to do, a lot of analyzing, a lot of. Uh, it's going to be a, a very. Um, I heard the truth hurts. The truth hurts. So it's not going to be easy to know this, but it was meant to happen. It's almost like it's shedding a light on the past. Like you're going to see something. Your intuition will tell you something. You'll, you'll figure something out here with the hermit and the six of cups. And then the three of cups tells me that there's more than one person involved. Tell me about the five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands. Oh my God, justice. I feel like I should just end this reading right here. Scorpio, don't despair. Libra energy, perfect. Okay, so we have judgment, we have justice, we have the tower, the high priestess reverse, and the ace of swords. Basically what's gonna happen is gonna happen and it does not matter how you feel about it or another person feels about it, Scorpio. This is justice coming in in the form of a tower don't despair even though it might be difficult it's going to set you on a new path here with the page of wands ace of wands is here two of wands there'll be a choice you or someone else will make whoever this tower i mean i feel like this tower is coming down because there was something that had to be shaken up to force someone in a new direction which is a common theme in a lot of the readings Okay, let me, um, I'm kind of scared to keep pulling cards for you here in this uh, spread. So let's move on to how you feel about each other. Because I, I feel like I have, if the world came out or the moon, I think I might just like spaz out. So hang on a second. Let me get some um, oracles here to get into how you feel about this person, how they feel about you. What's going on here? Um, okay. Scorpio, I'm going to have your energies on one side, your person's energy on, an, in, on the other side. Feel free to flip them. I'm reeling from the spread we just did. So let's see what the heck is going on here for Scorpio spirit. Can I get some insight into the energies between Scorpio and this person? Spirit, tell me about Scorpio. What is Scorpio's energy? in this connection what do we need to know about scorpio's energy in this connection time out timing patience waiting time is of the essence okay so there's something here yeah the you know literally this card has um what would you call this i, I just like sorry that's my dogs in the background playing what's this called it's a sand clock you know, it's like a sand sifter, like you put the sand on one time on one side and then you flip it over. The sand is already coming out here. So I feel like something's already in motion for you, Scorpio. Something has already started for you. Um, and now it's like things are probably going to be moving quickly here. I feel like some of you have been waiting for something. I don't know if you've been like Gemini, for example. Um, Gemini is in last the last reading I did, they were just waiting for that confirmation that they already kind of knew. I don't know if you're waiting for that, waiting for a message that helps you. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. What are their energies? The person Scorpio is dealing with. What are their energies? Moving forward, closed off, guarded, defensive, closed off, and moving forward. Ending a cycle, moving on. Past life at the bottom of the deck. Give me one more for Scorpio. Can I get one more for Scorpio? What is Scorpio's energy in this connection? What is Scorpio's energy spare? What can we know about Scorpio's energy here? I want to get one more. Divine timing. Okay, yeah, something's happening for you, Scorpio. 
this person could be leaving. This person could have closed off, kept is probably being quiet or guarded about something, um, probably ending a cycle with you or ending a cycle in their own life, moving on, moving into a new cycle. But I feel like you are as well. Divine timing, time out. There's, there's a theme of timing here. And then bottom of the deck, I have second chances. Rebirth, resurrection, revival. That's the judgment card. After that, taking action. Yeah, you're going to be headed in a new direction. But I feel like it's been guided. Like things are in motion for you. Like the Wheel of Fortune here is rolling. Can I get one more? One more energy, please, for Scorpio spirit. What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio and this person? Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. What's going on here with Scorpio? Unexpected income. So this is something that just arrives without you really realizing. An opportunity, I feel. I'm thinking like the Ace of Pentacles. It's usually what I get with this card. Two plus seven is nine. That's the number for transition. Attainment, fulfillment, nine of cups, nine of wands, nine of swords, nine of pentacles. There's something happening for you, but I feel like for your person as well. Yeah, see pathway at the bottom of the deck for you. You are on a journey, on a, on a specific journey. Your person's working on something, staying busy, distracted. I'm getting distracted energy here. With closed off, I'm getting this person might have been consumed with something recently, whether that's work, a project, a business, um, a hobby, etc. Okay, false person after that, okay. Let me pick what one more. I feel like this is all kind of, like I'm getting a story here. Okay, let's get a secret moon oracle. Can I get some insight please, spirit, into the thoughts, feelings of Scorpio and this person they are dealing with? Can I get some insight? This person, excuse me, could also be moving because of a job. Tell me how Scorpio's thinking or feeling. What do we need to know about Scorpio's thoughts, feelings? I'm ready to commit. Okay, so what I'm getting here is Scorpio. I'm not getting like commitment, like a relationship commitment, although that could be for some of you, but the major uh, energy I'm getting here is you are committing to an idea, committing to a dream, committing to a belief. Uh, whatever you've been thinking or processing, planning, you're ready to commit to seeing it through. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their thoughts, feelings? What are their thoughts, feelings? When it comes to Scorpio, this connection. Oh, I got two. My heart belongs to you. It's all my fault. Okay. Oh. It's at the bottom of the deck. I'm working on myself. Okay, so that's, that could be this occupation card. They're working on themselves. Working on trying to fix something with you. So then why moving forward? Unless they're trying to do this because you're leaving. Can I get some insight, please, for Scorpio? What do we need to know about Scorpio and this person? What do we need to know about Scorpio and this person? Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio and this connection? Six of Wands. Great. Tell me about Scorpio. What do we need to know? 
The lovers, Gemini energy. I just heard a tension. I'm getting a tension. Eyes on you. King of Cups reverse. Four of Pentacles. There's that Four of Pentacles again. Judgment again. You're realizing something, but I feel like it took you a while to get there. I feel like you were emotionally holding on to something. Or something kept you stuck emotionally. We'll see. Let me clarify. It's at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Okay. Movement. Action. Communication. So, okay. Let's... Gemini energy with the lovers. What's going on with the lovers? What do we need to know, Spirit, about the lovers? Eight of Swords, yeah. So this is probably um, something, what you're thinking about a lot. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone that you might not trust. Someone that could be deceiving you or you feel might be deceiving you. Someone that is uh, messing with your head, etc., etc. I feel like you're thinking a lot about this. You're thinking a lot about a connection, a partnership. The sun, queen of cups. Again, emotions here, emotions. Nine of cups, okay. All right, so you might have already something, someone in mind, Scorpio. Um, if this is not an actual person that you are already kind of thinking about a lot, then this is like an idea that you have of someone in the future that you might be with. So for example, your ideal partner, your ideal future partner, whoever they may be. The sun, the queen of cups, the nine of cups. I feel like something would make you very happy, but your mind is in the way. Can I get one more for the lovers? Can I get one more for the lovers? Yeah, there's the Four of Pentacles again. Interesting. And then the High Priestess is here. Yeah. So the High Priestess was reversed in the previous spread. Kind of set all kinds of things in motion. The High Priestess reverse. I feel like the High Priestess is connected to this Four of Pentacles, which is a card about guarding, protecting, Someone's keeping something hidden or protecting or is holding on to something because they don't have the answers or the clarity. They don't have the knowledge because it's, the high priestess is all about using your intuition to get to knowledge, peeking behind the veil to get to that secret knowledge, that psychic knowledge. So when I see it here with the four of pentacles, I'm almost picturing like a treasure chest with a key, you know? I feel like this is very important for this to be reversed, this High Priestess reverse for you because of the Judgment card. It's going to bring about an awakening of some sort. But until you get that awakening, you're going to get, you're going to remain stuck. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, the Hangman. You, I feel like success is... Um, Okay. Success is meant for you, but you can't see it because you're so worried about where you are now. Um, there's there's going to be issues you're going to be dealing with now, but the path you're on is a path of success. Yeah, Page of Swords. You're going to get this information, and it's going to allow you to make a move of some sort. I don't know what this is about, Scorpio, but I feel like it's only a matter of time before you figure this out. And that tower might be the, the catalyst, what helps you. Or this person is, is experiencing a tower that illuminates you in some way, you know? Towers could be revelations. So maybe whatever this person reveals, you do something with that information. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse, the Four of Pentacles and Judgment. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse for Pentacles and Judgment. Oh my God, Judgment again. 
This is very powerful. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We're getting the same message here, Scorpio. You are going to have some sort of an awakening here that leads you down a whole new path based on truth. Tell me more for Scorpio, King of Cups, Reverse, Four of Pentacles, Judgment. It's going to be different for all of you because you're all in different cycles. But the outcome will be the same. You will see. Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, Justice at the bottom of the deck again. Libra Energy. You will have Justice. Justice with the Tower again. You will have... Let's, let's just ignore that for now because I cannot deal with that right now. Justice in the Ten of Cups is what you need to, to, to keep in mind. This will work out for you or will be for you. Yeah. And I feel like this judgment is going to illuminate you or justice is going to take care of this um, Seven of Swords that you've been dealing with. Someone hasn't been either treating you right or trying to put, trying to take advantage of you in some way or trying to sneak away with something. It's, you know, be sneaky around you. There's someone around you you can't quite trust. Uh, but they're going to get found out because judgment, the tower, and the justice card are all on your side, Scorpio. All right. Well, I um, kind of wish I could be a fly on the wall there. <laughs> all right. Tell me about the person Scorpio is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with? What are their energies, Spirit? What are their energies? Justice reverse Libra energy. Yikes. What are their energies? Two of swords reverse. What else do we need to know about this person? Wow, King of Pentacles reverse. This is not good. This person, the King of Pentacles reverse, um, they pretty much aren't very stable. Um, and, you know, makes sense. Nine of Pentacles is reverse at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone that's not very stable right now. Queen of Swords reverse, the Fool, Sun, Three of Cups reverse. Yikes. Um, financially, this person could be having problems. They could have uh, had a loss of a job or a bad investment. Um some sort of loss in terms of uh, career finances. Also with the Nine of Pentacles reverse is another card about attachment. So I'm, now I'm thinking about the devil. Um, justice is reversed for them though. I feel like um, justice is on your side. I'm kind of getting that energy. So let's, let's clarify and see if I'm right about that. It could also be that this is uh, happening outside of you, uh, Scorpio. Like maybe this doesn't have anything to do with you, but you know, something tells me that something is off here though, because the King of Pentacles is reverse and typically they cannot give you something. This is someone that's unreliable. This is someone that cares about appearances, about money, but is bad with money. This is someone that cannot commit to a task or is prevented from finishing what they start, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Why is justice reverse? The reason why I'm kind of being very like, I don't want to say negative, but I'm being very guarded here about this person is because the Seven of Swords is here and they have the closed off card. So I'm almost wondering if they're the ones hiding something from you. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Page of Wands. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Why is Justice Reverse? Yep, the moon. Pisces energy. Can I get one more for justice reverse? Can I get one more for justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Nine of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. There's something here with money, finances, long-term commitments or obligations. Two of swords, three of wands. They haven't made a decision about something. Maybe that's why the two of swords is reversed here. They're still deciding or undecided, waiting around, trying to make a decision. This probably has to do with attachments, finances, but there's something off there with the moon. What's this two of swords reversed about? Why is the two of swords reversed? Six of swords. 
So they're making a decision to leave a situation. Could be leaving a situation with you, a situation outside of you. What's this Two of Swords reverse? The King of Cups is upright here. Why is it Two of Swords reverse? I say it's up right here because it's up, it's reverse over here. Six of Wands. What in the world's going on? Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, Three of Wands, Seven. Oh, okay. Interesting that the Seven of Wands is here because we got that energy of um, someone kind of blocking or guarding. This is so interesting to me because I feel like this is someone that's obviously leaving a situation. That's what the Six of Swords is all about. A departure, a transition somewhere else. And I feel like this person wants to be successful. But this is also your energy that you've been getting. So I almost wonder if this is about you. Tell me more about this uh, Two of Swords reverse. The Fool. This is definitely something new. A decision to, to go after something new. Independence, freedom. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reverse before I wrap up what I'm thinking here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Three of Cups. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Wands. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? When the King of Pentacles is reversed and the Three of Cups shows up, I think of someone that's not faithful. Six of Pentacles. It's all my fault. King of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. King of Swords. Oh, justice again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out because I feel like I'm, I'm, there's a piece that I'm missing here, Scorpio, that's not showing up in the cards. I feel like this person is tied to your new beginning in some way, but I'm not sure why. It's almost like when I see justice reverse and then there's justice here, and then I see the Two of Swords reverse. It's almost like this could be a person. One of the messages that I get is that this could be a person that's trying to prevent you from getting your justice. They don't want you to have this new beginning, right? Um, but I feel like justice is here because it's going to happen whether this person wants it to or not. I'm also getting that this person could be dealing with a situation where they maybe want to go on this journey with you. Maybe they've made promises to be with you on this new cycle, this new journey. But they're not able to make this happen. Uh, the moon tells me that there's something you don't know about this. Or, um, you know, there's something about this departure that's a bit off. Uh, because maybe this person doesn't have the finances or the stability or they don't have the... They're not able to be dependable about this new beginning, right? Um... Justice is here with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the truth is here. There's going to be some sort of truth. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. I almost feel like this is inconsequential because, wow, the world, because, and the Page of Cups, because um, Justice and the Tower are going to come in to wipe everything out no matter what someone's intentions are. The world and the Page of Cups with Justice. So this is, once again, a new cycle with the world. Justice brings you a new cycle in the form of a Page of Cups, perhaps. This is some sort of offer that's very emotionally fulfilling. Uh, this could also be somebody wanting to make things right, offering you an apology in order to have a new beginning. But be careful if that's the case. What's this person's true intentions towards you? I feel like I'm still missing something. And I have a lot of cards on the board. Because what is this hang-up that you have? 
you are stuck in a situation or stuck mentally. And I don't really see that for your person. I see them leaving a situation, wanting a new beginning, um, having some something, um, an illusion about that though, with the moon or a secret about that. So I'm not inclined to fully trust this person because they don't have anything to offer. King of Pentacles reverse, justice reverse. However, they might want to do things right. They might cause you to have doubts about, you know, maybe you're thinking about this person. Maybe you're thinking about what they're telling you. What is this person's true intentions? Maybe this is causing you to feel like you're running out of time or like things are happening too quickly for you. The frog. So this is about renewal, cleansing, forgiveness, etc. So this person wants to fix something. With the truth, I feel the golden egg, the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is going to tell you the truth about something, hoping that it will fix the problem. This will be completely up to you to figure out, you know, if that's enough for you, if that's what you're interested in. We picked up the world and the page of cups. Those were the last cards we picked, right? Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The high priestess. Exactly. There's something off. There's something off, Scorpio. I just don't know what it is. So make sure your intuition is nice and strong for what's coming. Because something is happening. You're on a trajectory. You're the train has left the station. Okay. There's something big that's happening. Something big is coming. I just feel like it's going to be very different for all of you. That's probably why the cards are not, you know, they're giving me the general idea, but not the specifics. I just know that it's, this is all tied together. Let me pick one more card here. Oh, yep, the Wheel of Fortune. This is this is divinely guided. This is all meant to happen. I feel like I'm sounding like a broken record right now. I hope that I haven't been confusing you too much in this reading. But that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the, re the reading, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.